tutorial we are doing my go-to brushes slash Valentine's Day look. I did a poll on my Instagram channel and if you're not following my Instagram here's the link right here. Stop this video and go follow my Instagram and then come back to my video. So I did a poll on my Instagram that said what video would you like to see next? Valentine's Day or my go-to brushes and obviously the Valentine's Day look one but I decided to kill two birds with one stone and just combine the two because we all want to know how to get this look and what brushes to use so I'm not going to ramble on in this intro but before you move to the video click that subscribe button right down there and let's get on with the video Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back. So don't mind my hair. Y'all know I gotta keep these edges laid. Y'all see the baby hair? Y'all see it? Okay. As you can see, I don't have my eyebrows on. I have nothing primed because we're gonna start from the beginning. So I can show y'all what brushes I use. We are not leaving any steps out. So this might be a long video. Don't click out of this video because I did this for y'all. Alright, so for brows, step one, we are going in with the LA Colors Brow Pencil. And this is in the shade Medium Brown. And it has a spoolie at the end, so this is brush number one. If you don't have a pencil that has a spoolie thing at the end, that is okay. I have another one. This is by e.l.f. Cosmetics and this was actually a dollar and I've had this brush forever as you can see it's a little wear and tear but basically what we're going to do is comb through the brows so they're all going in one direction so that's what this brush is for just to groom the brows so they're going in one direction. Okay, now you're probably looking at my eyebrows like, girl, your eyebrows are thick. Just wait on it. And if you were thinking that, you rude. You rude. Like that. So nasty. And that's what happened. So rude. Because you should know that I go in with concealer, girl. You should know. Okay. So now we're going to conceal, don't feel, the brows. So I'm just taking a little bit of concealer and putting it on the back of my hand. And the concealer that I'm going in with is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. But the brush, because that's what we're here for, the brushes, we are going in with a, a slanted brush like so. It has very stiff bristles and I always tell people to go in with a slanted um brush only because it's easy to get right up in this area because the point fits right in here where the eyebrow starts and where the eyebrow ends a lot of people like to go in with like a fluffy brush or like even one of these brushes which is fine not judging but you see how it's circular and tapered at the end? I feel like you kind of don't get as, as sharp as a brow as you would get with an angle brush. So this one is by Shani Brushes. The name has wore off, but it's been a trooper. So it's just an angle brush. A lot of brands have these like Morphe, Elf, Shani Brushes. Those are more of the low-end cost brushes. That's why I'm naming them first. But then you also have MAC. You also have Sonya Keshek. You
Okay. Now to buff out this concealer, I like to go in with a slanted brush, another slanted brush. However, this one is a lot more fluffier. And this is a great buffer brush if you want to kind of blend out what I'm about to blend out right here. If you want to put a um, color corrector under the eyes. It's real, real soft. And this is by Shani Brushes. And the name wore off. I'll leave all the names of the brushes I use in the description box below. Because I know this is a little janky. But when you do a lot of people's makeup, the names wear off. So now that the eye brows are complete, we're going to move on to priming the eyes. So to prime the eyes, I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer and the NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. And this already, you know, has an applicator, so I don't really need a brush, but y'all know I'm extra. I'm going back in with this slanted fluffy brush and we're just going to buff this out. See how seamlessly this brush like blends out this concealer and it gives it one flawless like application. So to set this because y'all know y'all needs to set it because you can't put a you can't put it like for me personally I don't like to put eyeshadow on top of like a cream base because I, I I have hooded eyelids so they crease to set everything I'm going in with the Derma Blend Professional Loose Setting Powder and this is in the shade Cool Beige and I just like to set the eyes with this and the brush I'm going in with is a large eyeshadow brush and this is by Shani Brushes as well. It's time to prime the face and to prime the face I'm going in with two primers. This is the Strobe Cream Hydrant. This is the MAC Strobe Cream and this is in the shade it doesn't have a shade. And then I, I'm going in with the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. And this is to cancel out pores. And this is to illuminate the skin. And I just like to go in with this with my hand. So there's no special brush for this. But if I was doing um, makeup on a client, I would be going in with this brush right here. And this is, I like to call this a paintbrush. But it's not called a paintbrush. This is a foundation brush. But you know we've graduated from using these types of foundation brushes. So I just like to apply the makeup with this and go in with a different brush to buff it out. For color corrector we're going in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Orange. And I actually do use a brush to buff this out. I'm going back in with that slanted buffing brush. And we're just going to pat. Don't swipe because we need the most coverage out of this color corrector. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I'm going in with this color because I'm going in with a lot of pinks for this look, but I just want to lay down a transition color so that there's like a gradient. The brush that I'm going in with is just a, um, you know, it's a blending brush. This is my go-to blending brush to especially buff out the transition color because it doesn't pack on a lot of color, but it blends it out very well. So I have other blending brushes, but this is just what I like to use for the transition color. And this is also by Shani Brushes. So the next shade I'm going in with is in the Morphe Blush Palette. This is the 9B palette. And y'all are probably like, why the heck are you going in with a blush? Because I don't have a lot of pink eyeshadows and you can use different like products for different things. Okay. 
So the shade I'm going in with is this shade right here. And this is just a nice pink shade. I'm going in with the same brush because I'm not too sure about this color. And this is going to be like a simple... A simple Valentine's Day look so that y'all can recreate it at home. So the next shade I'm going in with is in the ColourPop All See All I See is Magic Palette. And I'm taking the shade Teacup right here. And we're just going to deepen up um, the outer V area, kind of going into the crease. And the brush I'm going in with with that is, it's another blending brush, but this one's more tapered at the end. So it fits right into this area. And this is the NYX Professional Makeup Brush in number 16. And you can actually get this brush at Ulta. This brush was $12.99, so it's a little bit on the more expensive side if you're looking for, you know, not so expensive brushes. So the next shade I'm going in with is in the blush palette and it's this middle shade right here. And I'm going to take this on my Morphe R39 brush and this is, this brush is the bomb. If you've seen it in my Lemon Squeeze Jaclyn Hill um, by Morphe palette review then you know that I talked about this brush. And this brush sits literally right in here. So you can get like that, that depth crease that you want honey while blending it out. So for the lid shade, I like to go in with this brush right here. And this is also by Wet n Wild. And this is just the large eyeshadow brush. And for the palette, or for the eyeshadow that I'm going in with, I'm going in with that same ColourPop palette. And I'm taking the shade Imperial. And I'm just going to use this as my all over lid shade. So for liner, we are going to do a little chemistry because Valentine's Day is all about the chemistry. We are going to mix the Smolder Cosmetic Pink Gold Loose Glitter Loose Glam Dust with the Smolder Potion. And we are going to create an eyeliner. So for foundation, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, and this is in the shade 355, and this is their Dewy formula. Remember that little paintbrush that I told y'all about? That's what we're going to go in with. And I like going in with a paintbrush first, because you can control how much product you use, because if you can tell, when you go in with um, a beauty sponge, it literally soaks up your product. So this just helps control how much product you're using. And you're not wasting product. So to blend out the foundation, I like to go in with my beauty sponges. And these are by Real Techniques. And these are literally the shit. I feel like they're better than Beauty Blender. They're definitely cheaper than Beauty Blender. Because Beauty Blender be charging an arm and a leg. 
So y'all are probably like, why are mine so big? Well, this is how they usually come. Once you first get them out the pack, they're small. They're like a sponge. They don't have any moisture to it. But I like to go in and wet mine so they become these big, like I don't, let's see if you can tell the difference. You could tell the difference. They become these big sponges and it leaves you with like a flawless finish. So I remember getting asked the question of like, how was my um, beauty sponge so big? I go in and wet the crap out of them and literally wring them like a sponge. Like if you were washing the dishes, that, that type of wet, like that sounds kind of gross, but y'all get what I'm saying. And whatever product I don't use, on the back of my hand. I like to scrape it back into the bottle because we don't waste products over here. Okay, so for concealer, I like to go in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And this is in the shade Deep Golden 60. And there is no brush I like to use to apply this because it has a little applicator. So for concealer, I'm still going in with the No Filter um, ColourPop Concealers. And this is in the shade Rich 75. And I'm taking the same beauty sponge to blend this out. So instead of baking, I like to go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And this is in the shade Deep. And I'm still going in with that beauty sponge and just applying it to where I put the highlight. And with the teeniest bit of the um, translucent powder, I just like to go in with this brush. This is an e.l.f. brush and this is their blush brush, but I like the tapered in at the um, bottom because it fits right into this area. So I'm just going to go in and apply some of that translucent powder just to brighten this under eye area. So for contour, I like to go on with this brush right here. And this is the Shani brush. This is also a blush brush, but I like to use it to contour because it is slanted in and it fits right into the, the hollows of the cheek. And for my nose contour, I like to go in with this brush right here. I used to go in with this brush right here, and this is the e.l.f. contour brush. And, you know, I just, whatever season I'm in, I just like to switch up my brushes. So this is what I'm feeling right now for a nose contour, but I'll probably go back to um, using that brush soon. But I'm going in with the slightest bit of product because I don't want the nose contour to be too dark. That's the worst when you have like a too dark nose contour. So for blush, I like to go in with this brush right here. And this is by Bedellum Tools. And this is just a slanted, I used to use it for contour, but now I use it for brush blush because as you can see, I kind of switched up my brushes. And the blush that I'm using is by e.l.f. Cosmetics and this is their blush quad in the, the shade dark and I'm going to use this color right here to, to continue with the pink thing and I'm going to pack this on because people need to know that I'm happy because sometimes I just don't be happy or I don't smile enough whatever the, the people be saying and I don't be caring I don't so for the under eye area, we are going to go in with a nude liner. And for the colors at the bottom, I like to go in with this brush right here. And this is the Morphe R43 brush. 
And I just like to apply all the colors with this brush because it packs on the color, but then it's like it blends them out. So it, it's like a two-in-one. The same colors that we put on the eye are going to be the same colors that we put under the eye. So for highlighter, I'm going to go in with the same pink gold highlighter shade by Smolder. And the brush that I like to use is this brush right here. And this is supposed to be a round foundation brush. But I like to use this as my highlight. I do have a fan brush that I typically use. And this is the M310 brush. The M310 brush. And I used to like this, but I just feel like you don't have as much control. And you can't really see where the highlight is going. So I started using this. And this makes my highlight poppy. Inner corner, brow bone, and nose highlight. I like to go on with this brush right here. And this is the matte 219 brush. So for the lips, we're going to continue with the pink train scheme. However, I am going to align my lips with a dark brown pencil. I'm going in with the shade Brown Cafe. And this is by NYX. So for lips, we're going in with a pink shade. This is about to be real, real bold. And I'm going in with the shade Lola by Burst Cosmetics. And it's this middle shade right here. It's like a blue pink. It has blue undertones. Alright everyone, so this is the finished look. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And I look forward to seeing y'all in my next tutorial. Bye guys!